Uh, yeah, so this is a story on page 13 in The Sun, which bizarrely is about me, because um, I was in court yesterday at the sentencing of my stalker. Um, so I was stalked for um, two years, from 2018 to 2020, by a man, an anonymous man uh, online, although I don't know if it was ever in real life as well. He made uh, horrendous rape threats, death threats, um, threats to my family. He sent photos of his genitalia. And I found out yesterday one of the reasons why they caught him is that they matched one of the photos um, of his genitals uh, with what was going on in his bedroom when they actually raided his property to get his devices. Because he initially denied that it was him. He said he'd lost his phone. And they matched up the, the background of the photograph to his bedroom. Um, so, yeah. God. What's the message jailed. from yesterday, Nick? Mm. The message for me would be that I think it's really, really important because I took this to the police after two long years of this, this harassment and said, I, I want this to stop. They arrested him and it was a heck of a long time until I was told his identity. And that meant that this man became everybody that I met. They wouldn't even tell me if it was somebody that I knew, someone I worked with. They wouldn't tell me if it was an ex-partner. Mm. Um, so I'm campaigning and I've been doing some work with Emily Thornbury on this for, for some reform, basically, in the way that the police deal with victims of stalkers, because I believe that Victims should be given some power. I'm going I'm I'm to say something that might shock you. Um, if I walk into a bar with Jack tonight and a woman decides to make an accusation, they will name Jeremy Carl like that, but he has his identity kept secret. Mm. There, he... is no, there is no balance there at all. Yeah. People yeah. in the public eye are guilty straight away and in the newspapers. Fair play for standing up to him. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Mm. Thank you. But also, Very really importantly as well, um, I discovered in court yesterday that he'd been suffering with mental health issues for some time. And actually, a big part of what I wanted in terms of justice was not just a jail sentence, He's also got a lifetime restraining order, mm. which was great. Um, he apologised via his barrister. And also, the courts are going to ensure that he gets mental health support. And I don't say that because I'm a soft lefty. I say it because I don't want somebody being released back no. into society no. without mental health support mm. because he'd, he'd suffered from various things that happened Jack? in the past, which doesn't excuse it. Mm. So... so um... Obviously, you didn't have to go into court yesterday, but was it important to go into court and, and face him? Mm. Really important for me, um, largely because I felt a bit let down by the police service, to be honest. Um, I think there can be a lack of communication sometimes between victims and certain police forces. I wanted to look him in the eye. Yeah. After did you look him in the eye? Yes, I did, yeah. Good a, for you, a mate. couple of times. I, I, powerful I, message, eh? Really powerful. Yeah.